Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone is doing good. I am Vignesh and in this video, we are going to see how to create an Azure Machine Learning Workspace in Azure Portal. So this is completely a practical demo video where we are going to see how to create an Azure ML and how to launch Azure ML from Azure Portal. So this is what we are going to see for this video and without any further delay, let's get started. So I have broken this uh, task into three different subtasks. First, we will be seeing how to provision the machine learning workspace and then we will see how to create a notebook, how to create a compute engine and finally we will be seeing to stop the compute engine and then to delete the machine learning workspace itself. So this is the objective for this video. Without any further delay, I log into my cloud console. So this is my Azure portal. I am into this Azure portal um, so from here, as I said earlier, like you can search it from here, you can search Azure ML, here you can see Azure Machine Learning or you can search it from Create Resource. In Create Resource, you can go to this AI plus Machine Learning and you will be able to find it Azure Machine Learning here, there it is. Yeah, in Analytics, you can find Azure Machine Learning, just click on this Azure Machine Learning. So this is what where we will be creating the resource. I am into this subscription and I will be using this resource group, DBC resource group. My workspace name is my first workspace. And here you can see this is in the region. If you wanted to create a storage account, key vault, application insights, you can store, you can create it here or else Azure itself will create it on the name, the name of this itself, like my workspace. So you can see a storage account in this name. You can create a storage a key vault in this name and application insights in this name and container registry also. It will create on its own if it is required or else we'll, we'll, we'll not create it, we'll just skip it. So next part is networking. So we are going to de use all the default configuration, rest everything, advanced, all those things and tags. So we can see um, like this key for learning so we are learning purpose so this is the value for it and next you can just review and create review and create it so it is running a validation if everything is this correct we will be able to see a validation check that is validation pass we will get a green color and then we can go ahead and uh, we will be able to create this azure machine learning workspace so we in meanwhile i'll open the new portal and i'll show you uh, I'll just wanted to show you what is a storage account, those things here. So just search on storage account and you will be not, you'll, you'll not see any storage accounts, basically not any storage account in the name of this. So after a while, we will, after this resource is getting created, after the resource is created, we will be able to see a storage account in the name of this, key vault in the name of this, application insights in the name of this. So now the validation has been passed successfully. Now we'll go and hit this create button. Before that, if you wanted to automate this process, if you wanted to automate this process, if you wanted to clone multiple missions, then you can click on this download a template for automation. Basically, Azure will give this a JSON file and here you will be able to see all the parameters. Whatever we configured, everything you will be able to use it here. You will You can reuse the same thing. For now, if you wanted to download, you can download this and you will be able to see in template.zip file. We are not going to see in depth about this so that we'll just close it and we'll click on this create machine learning workspace. So obviously it will take some time. It will take around two to three minutes to create this particular uh, deployment and you can check the progress here and you can click on this where you can see the deployment is in progress and uh, you can get all the details here what is the subscription what finally the resource has been created so it took around one minute one minute 30 seconds something to create this resource and you will be able to click on this you can click on this go to resource and this is where our machine learning workspace is created and from here you can just click on this and you will be able to see the launch studio so uh, uh, ml workspace you will be able to see all those things so we are loading the workspace and yes here it is. We'll skip this. We'll skip close this. All those things. Oh, okay. So this is how what our Azure ML workspace looks like. Here you can see like my works for my first workspace. If you wanted to edit, you can edit it. 
uh, notebooks if you wanted to create new notebooks like jupyter notebooks you will be able to create it we will close this also from here you will be able to create new folders just click on this create new file new folder if you wanted to upload files upload folder you will be able to do it so then the automated M auto auto ml like basically auto ml and the designer if you wanted to create a drag and drop tool you will be able to create that as well so here you can see from predefined template like if you wanted to do an image classification binary classification wide and deep based recommendation and basically regression models so we will be seeing all those things later point uh, we'll in this video i'll be covering how to create a compute engine and how to attach that notebook to that compute engine and execute a simple print statement and here if you wanted you can bring the data also like data uh, for training our model for building ml model you can create the data you can bring the data to it and here are the default from blob storage from file share these are the default uh, default data stores available and this is where the multiple jobs whatever the jobs you are submitting in this workspace everything you will be able to track it and if you wanted to schedule certain jobs also you will be able to schedule it and components and pipelines so azure ml pipelines like when we are building ml models like there will be many pipelines involved right for example for doing eda for a train test split for training multiple models and getting the results and then finally deploying it so all the pipelines you will be able to see it environments if you wanted you can create uh, you can take this from the uh, predefined environment or else if you wanted you can create a custom environment as well so then the models like ml models which is which got finalized you will be able to register it after registering it you will be deploying it you will be creating an endpoint so those things you will be able to see it here real-time endpoints batch endpoints and this is where we will be creating compute and linkedin services all those things so here you can see there are multiple different types of compute clusters you will be able, you can sign it like compute instance compute clusters kubernetes clusters or attached compute if there is any existing compute if you wanted to attach it you will be able to attach it here as well so here we are just create click on this compute instance and location is us virtual name virtual machine type is cpu and from here you can see all the different types of machines select from all the options also you can see all the different options different compute options available so we are going to do, go with a uh, minimal only we are going to go with the minimal configurations two cores 14 gb ram 28 gb code and you can click click on this next advanced settings if you wanted to enable ssh access enable virtual network in, re, in enterprise travel we will be using a, a private network and all so if you wanted to enable those things and all you will be able to do it and the most important thing now it is tax so in order to identify which team is working or which environment this particular instance it belongs to all those things you will be able to uh, add tax as well and the same thing download template for automation so you can click on this create it will create the compute engine compute instance so the name of learn ml 26071 so the same compute cluster if you wanted you can create compute clusters as well the same different configurations compute clusters computations are pretty much same and if you wanted you can create kubernetes clusters as well kubernetes clusters aks compute like azure kubernetes service compute if you wanted you can create those attached compute so all those things you will be able to depending on the workload depending on the use case we can able to create compute clusters or kubernetes clusters or if you don't want to create any clusters you wanted to reuse or reuse the existing one you can just simply go it and if there is any compute available you can just create uh, use it same or you can create it also like azure databricks from um, databricks cluster if you wanted to use databricks cluster if you wanted to use hd inside clusters if you wanted to use um synapse spark pool cluster virtual machine so all those things if there isn't any existing cluster in data breaks data lake analytics sd insights synapse virtual machines you will be able to just integrate you will for you will be just able to give the compute name subscription and data breaks works in which works name it belongs to like i have an ml data breaks workspace so i'll be using those things and data breaks access token which we wanted to generate it so by this we will be able to attach the existing compute itself so we'll see compute instance it is still in the creating phase it is in the still creating phase like what is the size of it all those things you will be able to see it meanwhile we'll go to this notebooks and we'll just create this add files create new file 
so we will give a name my first note my first notebook and file type is notebook and there are many things python files r files shell script files txt yaml files and other as well so we can just create this uh, my first notebook and click on this create so it will take some time it this will not take much time like five ten minutes you will be able to see the notebook here it is and that uh, compute cluster no it is still in the creating phase once it is run once it is ready and available we'll be able to connect it so here you can see code if you want to like the same way how we are using jupyter notebook the same way we can use it as well here as well like print hi cloud and ai analytics so if you wanted to add markdown file you can add it we'll just add this is for demo here you can see you can add those things and print high cloud and AI analytics like still our compute cluster it is in uh, compute cluster it is still in the creating phase itself so here you can see it is still in the creating phase it will take some time uh, i'll pass this video and once the cluster is ready we will continue from there the cluster is created the compute cluster is created so here you can see compute instant it is in the green stage and the same you can cross check here also like it is running stage and you can connect you can establish connection to jupyter lab jupyter and visual studio code terminal notebook so you can establish the connection you if you just click on this you will be able to launch the jupyter lab as well in the new tab so you will be able we will be able to do that as well So the same thing, we'll, we'll go to this Jupyter Notebooks. Here we can see, you, if you wanted to execute, you can just execute it, like high cloud and AI analytics. The same way we will be able to process, we will be able to execute or we will be able to create the custom ML model. And if you wanted to learn samples, like click on the samples and there are many samples available. This is developed by uh, Azure itself. Here you can see Python, there are many samples like for jobs there are many like first part jobs you will be able to find those things and we'll close this and in tutorials here you can see like how to start like i'll be creating uh i'll be creating uh, uh, the demo sessions also i'll be working on this demo i'll be cover making videos on this as well so here you can see we can do everything from the python client library itself ml client all those things like create a job environment everything we can we'll be able to do it from uh, sdk itself so that's it for this video. I hope you learned how to create uh, uh, create Azure ML. How I just gave you a quick tour on what are the different components available in uh, uh, Azure ML workspace. And if you wanted to um, stop the cluster, like basically you can just click on this. You'll be able to stop the cluster, restart the cluster, or even if you if you wanted to delete, you can delete the cluster also. For now, I'll be stopping this cluster. And then if you wanted to uh, delete this workspace itself, you can go here and you can just click on this. You can you'll be able to see, are you sure you want to delete the workspace? If you click on this delete, it will take some 30, 40 minutes and then your cluster will be deleted. And here, as I said earlier in the beginning of the session, here you can see the key vault, my workspace, application insights, storage account, everything has been created by Google Cloud itself. So now if I do refresh, I will be able to see my workspace space. So what is this, uh, which resource group it is uh, um, attached to, what is the location, what is the subscription, all those details, we will be able to find it. So I'll I'll make some videos on how to build ML models, how to use this builder, uh, designer table. So how to use designer, how to build, uh, how to train a model, how to deploy a model, all those things in Azure Mini, Azure ML in the upcoming videos. Uh, if you have any questions or any doubts, please post in the comment section. I'll take a look at a look and try to reply to it as soon as possible. Uh, please do like, comment, share and subscribe to Cloud and AI Analytics. Until then, it's bye from Vignesh. Happy learning.